Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you might be in the Microsoft Flight Simulator world. It's time for another PIP Scenery Review, and today we are in the United States looking at Syracuse Hancock International Airport. So without further ado, let's get underway. Now Syracuse is in the northern part, north central part of New York and is close to Rochester as well. Syracuse, of course, home to Syracuse University and the Orangemen. So as we make our runway heading here, straight north, I should say straight east on runway 10, 28. We're missing some of the things that I like to see, which is the runway numbering as far as distance remaining. However, if we look to the left, you can see the concourse and terminal. Nice touch to show the fire department and the fire engines. So we'll make a left turn here in a moment, but as you can see, it's another beautiful area to fly in and to potentially plane spot. Now, I have not had a chance to go to Syracuse in person, but that is on the list of airports to do. And when I get that video up, I will, of course, will let you know and publish it been to about, uh, I want to say about 50 airports in the United States, and you can see a whole list of them if you go to my page and subscribe. The latest one I went to was Jackson Hole. So we'll slow things down a little bit as we're now looking pretty much straight west. And again, you've got two concourses here in Syracuse. and the parking garage, a nice tight format for the airports. We look off to our left here, we'll look ahead. So you got a parking garage, you got the tower there, very true to form. And kind of the nice avenue out to the interstate, very attractive for these big trees. At the left, you'll see the cargo area FedEx and UPS, Airborne Express, uh, will be. Now, Syracuse is unique because a uh, little background on the airport, they actually just started uh, service, which, well, was it was going for a couple weeks, but it's been postponed. As you see, a nice FBO, millionaire FBO. But uh, to go back to what I was saying, they, they had breeze service from Syracuse to Las Vegas nonstop. But Breeze, because of shortages of staffing and also airplanes, they postponed some of that service. Also, Syracuse is getting Southwest as well, Southwest Airlines, uh, but they are also served by the legacy carriers Delta, United, and American, as well as JetBlue. So, we're going to make another runway pass, runway heading. We'll go a little bit off runway 10 here. You can see the approach lighting system and the VASI right there. Visual approach slope indicator. So we'll kind of slow things down here as we make our way towards the terminal. I like these smaller airports because they're super easy to get into in real life, super easy to get out of, not a hassle. And right now, uh, public transportation bus service is the only uh, transportation available that I am aware of. They have two primary runways. The primary one that is used is runway 1028. Now when you look off to the left, another nice job at the tower, very similar to the Bradley Tower uh, in uh, northern Connecticut. So you've got economy parking right there, parking garage. And then the concourse and the custom made SYR. Here you can see a nice job including all the gate numbers and pads that you can see listed on the asphalt there. And there's that Syracuse number. I actually did a runway approach to Syracuse Hancock so I'm going to put that link right there in the right hand corner that you can take a look at and 
and see what it was like coming in to Syracuse with the add-on scenery. So again, a smaller airport, which is great, because you can kind of see what you're dealing with right away. I did buy this on sale in the Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace in the game, uh, but I'm, you can also get this at simmarket.com. Uh, but overall, another nice offering by LVFR, Syracuse Hancock International Airport. Really nice job and solid work. I know it takes a lot of time to create high density and high detail offerings for each airport so I'm really appreciative of that. So if you like the video make sure to like and subscribe. Also leave your comments, request anything you'd like to see differently for these videos and we'll keep making them because that's the goal. I remember when I first started buying uh, these, these, these add-ons there wasn't a whole lot of videos out there so my goal is for you to check them out so that you can see them and try it before you buy it, so to speak. So we'll make our descent on the runway 10, quick left turn, and call it a day. So as always, thanks again for tuning in. And remember again to like and subscribe. But for now, I'll leave you with me landing on runway 10 and wish you a pleasant day.